In this code.org tutorial, it's the end of course project. Ta-da! Yep, let's go. Here we are at the end of course project. They have a lot of great examples, which I super suggest taking a look at. Here's the artist. I might start with this one, right? And we can get an idea of some of the code they were using too. And each one of these really you want to click on and take a look at and see what's going on really helps when building out our own. That being said, let's go ahead and get started on some of these. I'm most interested in the dance and the artist project, so I'm going to walk through both. And I guess I'll just dive in tackling these one at a time. I'm really excited about what we're going to create. This is code.org. Create your own dance. I love this one. Ooh, we can pick some random song. Sure, that. And okay, on setup, I'm going to set background effect to electric and colors to random. Duh. Let's see. Oh yeah, randomized. Cool. And this is totally what we want it to be. Let's have fun with it. So I'm going to make six new bears in a inside square. And yep, that sounds good to me. Let's see. Boom. Look at that. And so this all happens on setup. Keep in mind, let's have some interactions with the events. So when someone presses up and when someone presses down, I'm going to do maybe. And then ooh, we have lots of events we can use. I love this. So at 10 measures, maybe. OK, now at 10 measures, what do I want to have happen? So when there's four measures of the song at that point, we're going to go ahead and do set background color and then. Oh, an effect. Ooh, ooh, random effect. Can I do random colors? No. OK, let's do electronic. So after four measures, one, two, three, four, this runs. Boom. Ah, ah. Ooh, I love it. Okay, cool. What else do we got? Set back runs up foreground. Love it. Okay. And then when we hit up, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to say dancers make. So whenever I hit up, let's go ahead. And I know I start with bears. I'm going to do 10 dogs top row oh this is going to create a bazillion dogs though i'll make all not forever Ooh, when i hit up i'm going to definitely do randomize bears uh randomize bears rotation let's try that out <laughs> that's fun i like that a lot actually and then let's say after Let's say at the beginning, instead of just this, I'm going to do six. Yeah, that's fine. Ducks and then diamond. Now oh, let's do more. Ten. Okay. And then for down, dancers make new. Every time I hit down, I'm going to make a new frog somewhere random. And yeah, let's also then on the, see, I just love doing this. Jump on four majors all everything somewhere random oh this is gonna be nuts let's go keep in mind code runs in order and so here are all my characters we're about to hit four all of this will happen which means we'll jump all random and the background will change oh they're jumping to the same spot didn't think about that let me hit up though <laughs> and so every time i press up bears go into a random rotation and boom boom so this jump all random is not what I was hoping. Let's do just one action all random. Yes, this is what I want. And sure to the left. Cool. And I have my fancy dancing. So I have all my characters here. I can also hit the let's see four measures background changes. They do a random action. I can also move them that way. I can add dancers. At four measures, they'll do something again, and I could just go nuts with this, right? So maybe when I go to the right, I make all my dancers, all dancers do that once, right? And I can keep going, really making this my own. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now I want to do the artist one. This is code.org. All right, create your own drawing. I love this. So first, I'm going to set up a pattern. Yep. Boom. And uh, no, 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 no. what do I want? Ooh, maybe I'll have an animal crossing. No, just kidding. Train tracks. 
And so let me just hit run, just to let's see what this does. Uh oh. Set path. Oh, that's because we haven't asked it to do anything. Duh. All right, now where do I want to go? Move. If I move it, I'll actually draw it. I think first I'm going to jump backward 200. And then I'll move forward 200. Oh, yep. So it's showing me right here. So I draw it. I think 400's the whole screen. Perfect. That would make sense to me. And then I'm going to jump. Ooh, let's make it. Okay, actually, let's do 300. And then I'm going to take my turn left. And by left, I want to turn right. And then I'm just going to go draw off the screen. Boom. So right there. Yep, that's cool. Now what do I want to do? Well, what if I have a draw sticker? Ooh. Oh, this bot is going to be the friendly rail road bot. So draw sticker. Oh, I don't think I can see it. Okay, so I want to jump. Ooh, jump to, sure, top left. And then let's draw my sticker. Oh, now I see. My bot is upside down. So what if I jump and turn all the way around? Or what if I turn all the way around and jump? Same result. Perfect. I'll put my bot right there. Okay, now I kind of want something up here too. What if we draw mountains? So let me... Perfect. And then where's the patterns? I love this. Is there a mountain pattern? I thought there was. So uh, let's just do a color actually. Set color. My mountains will be, yeah, kind of grayish for mountains. And then how wide do I want the pencil to be? Oh, I'll go with 25 maybe. And then I want to start my mountains over here. So I'm then going to go, so I'm going to jump forwards right here. And remember, code runs in order. Um, I'm going to need to turn left. And then what if I go backward 200? And then I can draw, yep. And then I want to move forward. Sure, but let's do 50. No, let's do... 100, but I need to turn because I want this to be like mountains. So turn first, 45, negative 45 degrees. Yep. And then I want to turn again. And like we've seen so many times, I'll probably turn 45 and then move forward. 100. Oh, so I guess I'm going to need to turn 90. And then what am I going to do? Well, negative 90, and then move forward 100, and then turn left 90, and then move forward 100. Let's see if I can use a loop here instead. I'm not sure. Let's try it, though. I love it. You know, I think I might be done. I'm really liking my scene. Of course, I could add other stuff, right? I can jump to a random point. Maybe I want to jump backwards because I'm somewhere over here. Oh, maybe I need to go forward. Hmm. There's nowhere to be found. Oh, I can set it. So now I'm going to jump to dead center. Perfect. 200. 200. That should be dead center. Yep. And then I want to draw a... Not that. I'm going to draw a rocket. Except I'm going to need to turn before I do this. Perp. Ah. Had it. Yeah. That's actually what I want it to do. I want it to look like it's taking off. And ta-da! So remember, code runs in order. What's happening here in this pink valve? It will get run three times. And we have a fancy drawing. You can watch it draw fast or slow. I can see it go. Zoop! Ta-da! Awesome.